Welcome to this Bridgewater Now update. I'm John Luck. The Bridgewater Citizens for Civility and Respect have held standouts in the Common over the past few weeks, including the one that you're looking at right now from June 6th. This standout had well over 300 people standing with signs making a statement against racism. Those in the Common and around the center of town took a knee for nearly nine minutes, which was the amount of time a Minneapolis police officer had his knee on the neck of George Floyd, who passed away nearly one month ago. There were chants to echo through the common in another peaceful demonstration held by the BCCR. There is another standout scheduled for June 20th. This will be the fourth consecutive weekend that there has been a standout in the common. BSU's graduate and undergraduate commencement ceremonies were postponed from last month to 2021. And BSU President Fred Clark released a video to students about the new graduation date. I vowed I would never cancel a commencement, and I intend to keep that promise. Promise delivered. I can't wait to celebrate you in person. Well, it's hard to believe, but we're only about a couple of weeks now away from the 4th of July. And although we may be celebrating it a little bit differently this year, there are still a couple of ways for you to take part in the fun. There are two deadlines quickly approaching. If you'd like to perform the anthem, you are asked to have your tryout submitted by June 20th, and you can also take part in the Patriotic House Decorating Contest. The deadline for that is July 2nd. Email your entries to jfowler at btvaccess.com or buzzcurl at comcast.net. The top three entries from the House Decorating Contest will receive a share of $400 in gift cards. And make sure you join us starting on July 3rd for the BTV 4th of July special. We'll have the familiar faces that you've seen on the 4th, plus we look back in the archives that parades from the past 10 years, and of course the 4th of July celebration needs pyro. So we'll have a special fireworks display as well. Again, this will debut on BTV, btvaccess.com, and on social media, all starting on July 3rd. I want to turn our attention now to the COVID-19 pandemic and its local effects here in Bridgewater. On June 15th, the town posted on its website that there were 20 active cases of the virus and 136 cases to date released off a of quarantine. The number of deaths due to COVID was at two through most of this pandemic, but recently that had doubled to four. And another popular event here in town has been called off. Autumn Fest has been canceled out of an abundance of safety. The event is put on by the Bridgewater Business Association, who posted this on Facebook. Due to the current situation and the number of unknown factors caused by COVID-19, we cannot move forward with this year's event. The post goes on to tell people to stay tuned for information on upcoming virtual and live in-person events. Some local businesses have begun the reopening process as the state enters phase two of its reopening plan. Restaurants now have outdoor seatings and some retail stores can open with restrictions. We want to give local businesses here in Bridgewater a chance to reach out and talk to the people here in the community. Send in a video up to 90 seconds describing and promoting your business. You can also feel free to add any precautions you are taking during these times. You can also send pictures in with a description as well. Send in your videos or photos with a description to jluck at btvaccess.com. During this pandemic, it's been easy for some people to maybe feel lonely during the stay-at-home advisory. One group of people this affects more than others is senior citizens. Bridgewater State University's Martin Richard Institute for Social Justice has teamed up with the Bridgewater Senior Center on a pair of initiatives. One is a pen pal program between students at the university and seniors in the community and the other has seniors sharing stories from their youth to the students which will get placed in portraits to be displayed later on this fall. 
There are nearly two dozen students from the university taking part in this initiative, and Bridgewater Elder Affairs Director Emily Williams said it's great to have two generations interact as they can learn from each other. And finally today, the town election is coming up on June 27th, and as we've done in the past, we open up an opportunity for those running in the election to talk to residents in our Candidates Corner segment. We did have one reply for the segment, and that comes to us from one of the contenders for the District 6 Town Council seat, Councillor Mark Lindy. Hi there, my name is Mark Lindy and I'm a candidate for town councillor here in Precinct 6. I decided to put my name forth when the former town councillor resigned his seat late last year and have served as your town councillor since I was appointed in February of this year. Now I am running for a full three year term that I respectfully ask for your vote so I can continue to serve. My opponent, according to the town charter, was term limited. He resigned to work around the limitations of the charter to begin the process again. The residents of Bridgewater supported term limits in the charter, and I and others do not feel that this is right. I am running for this seat as a new voice for Bridgewater. I'd like to let you know that I have over 25 years of experience having served on the Library Board of Trustees in a school committee where I previously lived prior to moving to Bridgewater last September. I was made the chair of these groups many times due to my leadership qualities. My integrity, doing the right thing, my lifelong commitment to public service, and my past government experience will serve us well when we look for new, fresh ideas to move our town forward. I am offering a six-point plan for District 6. I will do this by working with my colleagues on the town council, our residents, and in a true team effort. First, I will be a pro-business counselor to help grow our tax base that will be balanced with the needs of our residents. Responsible business development is critical to keep our taxes low. Next, I will strongly support proper funding for public education here in Bridgewater. I was appointed to the Mitchell School Building Committee to help make sure we build right, smart, and cost-effectively to meet the needs of our students for years to come. Our public safety departments have been having a difficult time lately. I will continue to support their efforts to keep Bridgewater safe while at the same time recognizing that all members of our community are treated with dignity and respect. I will support a new fire station when a plan is brought forward. Next, I will be an advocate for the needs of our senior citizens and veterans in our community to properly serve them as they have served us. Public libraries are an absolute treasure and I will stand up to support our community and lifelong learning center to meet all of our needs. Lastly, the redevelopment and revitalization of our downtown business district is critical to a thriving Bridgewater. I will promote and support our local businesses during this difficult time. This particular election is very different to what we're used to. Because of COVID-19, the hours were shortened from the regular voting time to 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The location is the same at the Mitchell Middle School on 166 Mount Prospect Street. If you feel uncomfortable voting in person, you can request an absentee ballot or mail ballot. Please contact the town clerk's office listed on the website at www.bridgewaterma.org. Local elections are very important because we can participate directly and support someone, that would be me, who is accountable directly to the voters. I was energized meeting many of you to gather my signatures, but sadly COVID-19 stopped me dead in my tracks from getting out to meet all of you. I was really looking forward to shaking more hands and knocking on more doors. I have been an active participant directly from the day I moved here with my wife, Terry. I got involved in the debt exclusion to make sure our kids had a proper building, done right, on time, and on budget. My service is strictly volunteer. No pay, no benefits, and no limelight. For me, it is truly public service. I've been involved all my life in civic life since I was a freshman at Brockton High School. I am the past president of the Rotary Club of the Bridgewaters and a current member. I would really appreciate the opportunity to serve you and continue to make the quality of life better here in Bridgewater. If you like what you see, please feel free to like my Facebook page, Elect Mark Lindy, email me at electmarklindy at gmail.com, or even call me at 508-942-0917.
If you'd like a lawn sign, be in touch and I will drop one by. I am humbly and sincerely asking for your support as a new voice and a new choice to be your town district councilor in District 6. Thank you for your consideration and hopefully your vote on June 27th. Remember, Mark Lindy, integrity, experience, and commitment. Thank you. Again, the election takes place on June 27th at the Bridgewater Middle School with special voting hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Thank you for watching this Bridgewater Now update. I'm John Locke.